Department, we have a warrant for your arrest. For what? Lewd acts and indecent exposure in public. Hey? No, sir. What's going on? Jeez, come on, Daniel. Uh, but wait. Weapons, needles, drugs, or anything on you that might hurt me? I barely have clothes on, so. What in the Reese's peanut butter fuck is going on here? Let's rewind. The thing that's really interesting about this is that we don't really see the issue with this as a society. Of course, we're thinking like, oh my God, yes, this is some good content. I can't wait to bust the nuts of this chick masturbating in front of a school where there's thir three-year-olds and fucking third graders and shit like that. She's effectively a sex, a sexual predator at this point, you guys. She has to register as a sex offender at this point, you guys. This is what it's taking. <laughs> what girls are doing this to get $1,000 a month. The top 1% of OnlyFans content creators make $1,000 a month, you guys. $1,000 a month. You're selling yourself out, becoming a sex offender. And people don't see an issue with this. I'm glad to see that the police and that people like society is actually starting to crack down on things like this. Yeah, the content may look good in the moment when you're alone on a Friday night and you're just horny or some shit like that. It may look good at that moment, but come on, we really got to think about this shit, you guys. What are girls really doing to get the content out here that you guys are liking, man? It's just, just wild. It's wild. And the thing about it is, I don't think this is fake. It, it Even if it is fake, I think that this is something to be said about this. If this is fake, can you believe this? She faked getting a, a sex offender registration for masturbating or doing some sexual acts in classrooms. This is happening, you guys. This is things that are happening. Teachers, 20-year-olds and stuff like that, they want to talk about men being sexual predators and shit like that. Or they can't trust guys in daycares and shit like that. What about these girls nowadays? It's okay. Society is effectively telling women it is okay for you to do whatever you want sexually with whatever minors or whatever, some shit like that, you guys. It's okay. It's okay. How many videos do we have girls doing shit in classrooms, in actual schools, sex offending shit? If it were a guy doing the things that these girls are doing, are you kidding me? This person will be castrated, would be fucking flogged all the way from Fort Knox to fucking Iraq or some shit like that. You guys, come on, man. This is crazy. I slept with my landlord so he'd give us more time to pay. This isn't something I feel comfortable talking about with anyone in my personal life, so I'm dumping it here. I know people aren't going to believe it, but whatever. My life is a horrible novel now. My family has never had a lot of money. It's just my mom and my two younger siblings. Dad passed away a few years ago, and we've really been struggling since then. Mom and I both work full-time as much as we can, but it isn't enough to cover rent, bills, and all our other expenses. We're normally scraping by the end of the month. I'm not going to give a ton of details, but yeah, we're broke. We haven't been paying rent on time, because of food, water, electricity, etc. That's the one that's often easiest to let slide. We've had the power cut off a few times, even. It hasn't been a great situation. Anyways, a while ago our landlord came to bang on our door threatening eviction because we hadn't paid rent. There's a whole process, but he'd win because we haven't paid and it's not like we could conjure up more money. Mom was trying to negotiate with him for more time to find a new place to stay. She said we'd paid him as much as we could while we found somewhere else, but the rental market here right now is bad so it would probably take us a while to find somewhere in our price range. He just kept shouting at us, not having any of it. He's got expenses too, and we can't be affecting his business, he told us. What he said next made my blood boil. It still does when I think about it, because I'm so disgusted with myself. He said unless we could come up with the money, or one of us was going to get dressed up and sleep with him, he'd be moving to evict us for not paying. I wasn't recording, I have no evidence of it at all, but that's what he said. I'm disgusted with myself because I did it. The kids were at school, so I took him to my room and he slept with me. It wasn't bad or anything, he didn't even last that long. It was just gross, and degrading. My mom didn't say anything to stop it when I took him back. She didn't say anything about it when he left, and she and I haven't talked about it since. It's been a few days since this all happened, he hasn't been back. We're looking for a place we can move into pretty quickly, and thankfully it does look like there are a couple of options close enough that it wouldn't require switching jobs. I think it's so funny that this video is supposed to be outing out the landlord when she did this. You didn't have to do this. It's unfortunate. Yes, holy shit. If you don't get your d duties done, if you don't take care of your business, there are consequences to this. And so she's mad, and now she's going to try to out out this guy saying that, oh my God, he told me to sleep with No, you didn't have to. Nobody forced you to sleep with him. You didn't have to do that. You could have got your ass out of the fucking the place that you were staying at because you guys couldn't afford the bills. It's unfortunate. Everyone is going through tough times out here nobody gives a damn about the dads out here the single fathers out here that are put on child support that can't live anywhere else 
besides their fucking wherever they're at because they got child support coming out their paycheck. Nobody gives a fuck about guys doing that. But we're supposed to care about you because you're about to get evicted because you guys didn't keep up with your bills and you slept with this person. And now you're trying to say that you didn't record the situation. Why did you sleep with them? You're mad at yourself for doing an action that you fucking did. This is this is the audacity, people, that, that of the things that are going on right now. This is where women can be unchecked and com completely do shit. And then go behind their back and revert and their actions like, oh my, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm disgusted. I can't believe he had problems. He had money and he had duties. He had bills to pay for his property. And so how dare he do that? He said, it you shouldn't have slept with them. What the fuck? This is ridiculous, man. It's, it's ridiculous. Nobody gives a fuck about that. No one. You know what? I hope you are my fucking landlord. Guess what? It was going to happen. If you're missing on the bills, you're getting your ass evicted. I ain't. Sex ain't going to cut it. Sex ain't worth a thousand, two, twelve hundred, fourteen hundred dollars a fucking mortgage. Fuck out of here with that shit. You getting your ass evicted. what i'm talking about you guys you don't let anything fucking take you you don't let anything stop you from living your best life man he is conquering with one fucking leg he's quite yo he's deadlifting more than i can do with two wow that's amazing right there that's the shit that we need to be supporting and fucking uplifting man love it holy shit people wonder why we need a union at starbucks and i am literally about to quit I don't know if I'm going to do it, but, like, I really want to. I almost walked out today, and I'm crying in the back room right now, and I almost cut on the floor. And on the weekends, they scheduled me the entire day open to close. I'm on the schedule for eight and a half hours. <laughs> Only five people were put on the schedule, and somebody had to call out. And there were four people running the whole store. And... Hey, nigga, you better get back to work then, boy, if you're only four of y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you making this video? It's only three of y'all niggas, man. Nigga, if you put a union at your Starbucks job, you might leave <laughs> negative, nigga. Yeah, fact. <laughs> I empathize with a little breakdown here. Why? Just, just Why? Just quit. Just quit. Get another job, bro. If it's not Starbucks shit, it might be like what it might be eat? Smoothie King. Nigga, it might be easier to make oh, smoothies man, no, than. Jesus. Have you been at Smoothie King peak hours? Oh <laughs> my god, that nigga will crumble, nigga. Oh my goodness gracious. And I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, man, it's looking bad for the future here. If this is our generation, if this is what the men of the of my generation and, and younger than me are built of right now, I feel like the society's gonna crumble, man. These motherfuckers ain't built to work fucking eight hour shifts, let alone part time. What the fuck, Starbucks? Have you ever worked at UPS? Have you ever done landscaping before for ten hours at a time? I have. Holy shit! What the fuck? Taking some Starbucks? Whoa, listen, I know some people might think that, oh, I'm privileged to be working at working from home, been doing this for two, two and a half years, almost three now. Yes, I'm definitely privileged. Come March, it'll be three years working from home, you guys. But I worked to get here. I absolutely carried myself out of my situation. When I go to all these restaurants in the DFW area, all these other places I used to work at, I still see the same people I used to work with there. It's a, it depends on what you want for your life and how much work you're willing to put into it, you guys. That is what's going to get you out of your situation. But you cannot skip any letters A to Z. A, B, C, D. You can't skip steps, man. If you skip steps, you're going to always have to come back and finish that step that you skipped. You got to work for what you want in this life, you guys. Earn it. Don't just sit here and just be crying and complaining about some shit, man. You got to earn that shit, man. Real talk. What do you do for a living? I don't work. I take care of our kid. So you're a stay-at-home mom? Mm-hmm. And she's 11? He is. He is yeah. 11? Uh -huh. He goes to school? He does. So what do you do during the day? Nothing. You don't want to work? No. No. So you're just living off of his child support? I am. And we live with our mother. And you're proud of that? Well, well we were living with him, and I was a stay-at-home mom. He made the income. Okay. But, I mean... But you can work now, right? I can, but... So, it's no but, but you can go get a job, right? She said, yeah, but, I'm. come on, don't you understand that we're in a society where I'm a woman, I don't have to work? Like, come on. You see how confident she's saying it? She's like, I can work, but, I mean, come on, I'm trying to, you know, I don't want to work. Who the fuck wants to work? If I can get off on child support, raise the support for me, please, come on. Why should I have to work? 
I could, but I'm not going to. My rent's free. My food is free. I mean, my mom's the homeowner. We don't have to pay nothing. Okay. You know, I'm not going to go there with you today because you can, obviously, you're able to work. I'm able, but I don't want to. And you should work, but... Again, that has nothing to do with me today. What we're going to do is talk about the modification of these numbers, all right? So your income has increased. Uh, it, it's, it's increased about almost $400. So based on you saying that you receive about 90000 on the high end, that yes, brings your gross to about $7,500, which your net is 5400 and. Sixty-five dollars and twenty-two cents. That would bring well health insurance. Who covers health insurance? I do. And how much is that? One hundred and ten a month. Okay, one ten. So what I'm going to do is give you credit actually for the health insurance coverage for the child. So that would slightly bring your child support down. And down. Monthly, yes, slightly. It's still <laughs> expensive. Um, one thousand ninety-three dollars a month is what he would pay in child support. That's it. That's it. Well, it would be more if you get a job. He would pay more if I got a job? No, it would be more for the child if you got a job. Your Honor. What do you I just, this, this, is, this is the type of thing that we're talking about, right? Like, there's one thing to live in a world dominated by fucking men but it's another thing to be a man and be trapped in a financial jail for 18 years with a woman who like this you you've got to be careful with who you sleep with and if you how you're how you're wrapping it up because a lot of women are out here living and knowing this like this she like it's not even it's they're not even hiding it anymore she she's blatantly outright saying what the fuck i don't want to work come on like give me more money a thousand that's it that's it a thousand dollars a month that's all i get for sitting on my ass birthing a child are you fucking kidding me what what i pay five hundred dollars a month for my child that was based off of me getting working as a server. I was a fucking server. I was a server. I get pay, I got paid two dollars and sixty seven cents an hour. I only got money from based off of tips, and I got put on five hundred dollars a month child support. You guys, I had to work myself to get to this point. I had to work my ass off to get here. And it's women like that in this world that want to take you for what you have. Fuck all that, you guys. That's why channels like this exist, man. Fuck that shit, man. That's crazy.